WrestleMania is running wild. We knew that Animal House would be a spectacle. But Jason Sensation, we've got OCW's resident animal, the pyromaniac, Mateo, the last blacksmith, whatever you want to call him. You can hear the crowd on their feet right now for one of their favorite weirdos. They're literally on their feet, Jay Gallon, in Colorado. Colorado is, is to the moon uh, with Mateo. And don't be fooled by the horse head. He's not tongue-in-cheek for the Animal House charity raising money for the Humane Society. He is just an animal himself, like Jake Allen just said. The horse head is the helmet that he wears. His accoutrement before he goes into battle. Whether you love him, whether you hate him, whether he wins, whether he loses, he will always bring the fight. He will always bring the entertainment. He will always bring the ascending. He will always bring the flaming table. He will always bring a candlestick more often than not. Say it with me, Jake Allen. Not Shandy! Here in Colorado, the fire's got plenty of snow to burn, baby. And apparently the rivalry between the last blacksmith and Cassidy Alexander Hayes not quite finished. At this point in his career though, the last blacksmith is being handed to the newest member of Cassianity, Chris Green. The newest and one of the most dangerous. He's so dangerous, the goddamn logo's backwards and now it's forward. You see, he affects time. Cassianity affects everything. Oh, it's a laser focused crowd. And you see the man himself accompanying Chris Green to the ring, his new mentor of sorts, and the man who will face the greater than goat Nate Ortiz later on tonight here at Animal House, live on Twitch.tv, Chris Green out to make a name for himself. And boss, in our opening contest, we talked about potential mind games or potential things getting in the way of our competitors' focus. Both of these men have a lot going on in their mind, in and around OCW. Of course, the last blacksmith dealing with Hito Gui, and everybody hates Castianity. Chris Green's got to know that. I mean, even though everybody hates Castianity, fun fact, uh, Cassie Hayes is an avid cat lover. That's why he's here. So shout out to, shout out to Cassie Hayes for, for liking the kitty kitty Mew Mews. But uh, speaking of, of cats, Chris Green might just claw the eyes out of Mateo. Don't let the rookie disposition fool you. Chris Green is a is a bad mother sucker, if you will. This this kid got a, a big upside, and Mateo's gonna have to come up with something in that veteran tank if he hopes to even have an inkling of success after what happened against Jean Cartier a couple weeks ago. Right now, Chris Green and the last blacksmith, a first time ever matchup. Cassidy Hayes giving some last minute words of advice out of the desert team to stick as a huge lariat from the Italian native gives the last blacksmith the early lead and now stomping down on the shoulder. I, th I think after what happened a couple weeks ago, it may it may have lit a fire. Oh God, I hate I'm saying it. It may have lit a fire under a uh, blacksmith's ass. The whole the whole issue with John Carter, and then the, then Hito Gui putting uh, salt in the wounds. Blacksmith is maybe like cashing in his chips, but now he's back. He's ready. He's in he's the, going high the high rate district. district. And he's getting dangerous with it. Oh, oh and the axe handle smash trying to drop a bomb on Chris Green, who is now capitalizing, pulling on the hair. You know, Cassianity do, will do anything it takes to win. They will certainly be looking to do that in our main event of Turmoil 290 coming up here on December 9th. And oh, that is Jesus. why both of these men definitely want to get a victory here at this charity event. Get more eyes on them. Get more momentum heading into some crazy clashes, no pun intended, coming up in the next few weeks. Oh, indeed. Indeed, Jake. Yeah, that, that main event is, is going to be crazy or terrible. I don't know if the rink can support that, mu that much uh, uh, hatred, animosity, and or beef. Here's the cover right now. Chris Green. We saw him get involved at the uh, Don't Come to New York pay-per-view event earlier this year, mm -hmm. making sure Cassidy Alexander Hayes was saved from the oh. Carcosa. And right now he's got to fend for himself, although look at ah. this. You can see the Cassianity, the Cassidy <laughs> Hayes influence just permeating throughout the event. 
Chris has been in the quote unquote church uh, for quite a few weeks. He's been training with Cassidy Hayes. He's been training with H2O. He's been training with Kay D'Angelo. You got you're training with two future legends and one Hall of Famer. That's got to give you confidence. That's got to give you the skill set needed in modern day OCW. And that's what Chris is bringing to the table. And right now, a big regal oh. cutter dropping him down using his own arm for leverage and now attacking that injured arm. Jason Sensation, you got to think the last blacksmith wants to get oh some revenge here against Castianity after what happened at Resolution this year. The return of Papa Cass in some ways. This Ooh. is all the last blacksmith's fault. You say his fault, but I say he's a victim of circumstance. But right now, you can see the tape on his arm. That's the arm that Chris Green's focusing on. Again, we got to bring it home. We got to hammer it home. He has a pedigree, a regal pedigree, if you will, pardon the pun, of, of knowledge in the learning tree. And he's applying that in this match. If Mateo can take him off his game, he might have a shot. But right now, it's, it's looking a little dangerous. Oh, Jesus. wow. Ah. And I, I thought Mateo, the last blacksmith, was able to get the upper hand after countering that running drop kick. But the lone wolf, the sole survivor, the last blacksmith doesn't need a learning tree. Only he just goes out there and fights. We'll see if that's going to be a winning oh. strategy. But right oh. now, oh. Chris Green, oh. that learning tree teaching him how to kick like it's Street Fighter in 92. My man just almost went two shades and two clicks from a flash kick. Oh, nice takedown with the Hurricane Rana, a modified variant. Look, he, he and he is showing no trepidation. He is not worried. He is not sweating. That's what comes with the tutelage, whether you like it or not, of Castianity. The former heart and soul of ambition. The man who nearly made a name for himself by no! winning the Bermuda oh! Triangle at Summerside a couple of years ago. Oh God, he has really shown this. an insane amount of confidence. And oh! that is why right there, the high red district that had to be 20 feet in the air coming down on the torso of the last blacksmith. That's the thing with Chris Green. Once he gets rolling, he's like a little rookie tornado. And here is the cover after the big splash to the outside. One, two, and the last blacksmith. It took a cessation flip pile driver on top of a steel ladder to keep him down at Lucian. Chris Green not going to have weapons at his disposal, but he's he's using his kicks like weapons right now, boss. Very similar oh to Cassidy God. Hayes, who you see just lording over this match. He uses those kicks like weapons, and but he's not paying attention to his surroundings. That should have been a road break. Uh, uh, Greg, uh, Fr uh, Greg did not call that, but also you have to notice that second, uh, that cover attempt that Chris had, he put, he put his forearm across Mateo's face and he hit both shoulders. That's the technique, that's the tactics that it takes to win these type of matches. Simple and effective. Now back to the apron as Chris Green, another Jesus drop Christ. kick, dropping the last blacksmith who hasn't really been oh able to do much God. in a while. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, but he is going to die. Oh. oh, maybe trying to fake out the last blacksmith. It did not work out. Because, oh, Mateo oh. tried to get back in with a diving knee. The hesitation almost cost him. But once again, Chris might just be back in that driver's seat. He's good at what he does. Oh, Mateo high right. I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh, boy. Ah, there you go. He throw a better part of Valor. Be smart about it. Oh, just like that. I think that. it's don't pretty taunt. smart. I think oh, it's pretty smart from... Oh, oh whoa. Oh. oh, whoa. Sunset flip here into the cover. Shoulders both pinned down by the legs. <laughs> One, two. Really a spider special. You know, he's been hanging around that locker room these days. I don't know. I think I think maybe maybe Mateo's going for a, a cessation of his own and Chris Green Scott. Chris Green is a is a very technically sound young man. He has all the tools, all the gifts needed to succeed in OCW. He's gonna be this is a test for him. He also has a test next week against John Carter on ambition. Oh, second oh, time and again. Time. No, once again. Blacksmith Got really it. wanted to land it. Here's the cover again. Another version of the spider special. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait Blacksmith. A minute. Oh. oh, these two going back and forth <laughs> oh. on their attempted roll. Oh, my God. Out the I can't figure out the goddamn count. I can't figure the out the count. The crowd loves it, though. The crowd loves Oh, once again. Oh, the Chris, <laughs> what is he thinking there? He didn't get the cover, kid. Arrogance is going to bite him in the ass, but, you know, Mateo has to be on it if he wants to catch Horse it. Horse kick! Oh! Horse kick out of nowhere! Oh, Could that be all she wrote? One, two! Oh, my <laughs> Lord. The horse kick has felled many a man. That's a move that almost won the last blacksmith, the CCW World Championship. And he nearly put away Chris Green with that one. 
And this is why you can never count Mateo out, boss. He is a Just ball like that. of fire, Ooh. pun definitely intended. He is all over the place, and chaos reigns supreme. Flatliner. Oh. Just like that. Just like that. That horse kick. Oh, oh my God. That horse kick was the great equalizer. Almost a flash knockout. They say a puncher's can a chance, but we say a horse's chance. And right oh, now, well, liver punches. Maybe a oh puncher's chance. God. Jesus, looked like he tried to put his hand through the torso of Chris Green. Oh. And you were right. That horse kick really was the great equalizer because Blacksmith has taken control and has not looked back. Oh, it's just take. This only took one more, one second for Chris Green. Oh, once again, the cockiness, the arrogance. You can't, oh, you can't do that. It's going to bite you in the tuchus. Oh! The, the confidence and the arrogance, they go one in the same when you are a member of Cash yes. Oh, my God, oh. and Blacksmith. I think I think Green was looking for that flipping DDT, yes, but he, he got was. caught in a head scissors as the last Blacksmith has scouted his opponent. Oh, nice kick, nice fake kick. Just get him right. That was shit on Temple. And Blacksmith is getting his second win. His second Back horse. and forth. Oh. These two, oh. and now there's a, oh my god, oh. That's a, that was a heck of an arm drag, and now into the corner, oh. big drop kick, Chris Green Shot not gun. finished yet. What's he doing? He's calling for something. I know He's what he going wants. half court, oh, oh. oh Jesus Christ. Maybe I don't jumped know if the gun a little bit, wanted. did Green. <laughs> yeah, I'm did. not sure if that's what he wanted. This time, Greg does see the rope break, and with that confidence and arrogance, boss, this got a little hurried there. He didn't take little, his little time. Skirt. Got a little panicked. Call it scared. Uh-oh. Call it scared, dude. And now the hardcore freak knows how to do more than just burn tables and whip around tempo oh. sticks. He's got a little talent of his own. Big DDT oh, and another counter no. from the last blacksmith. Once again. Oh. Head scissors incoming. What a match thus far between these two oh men. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? The oh, horse. Are you joking? The last blacksmith <laughs> knows what he wants. There's no way. Oh. Horse kick again. <laughs> Down goes Chris Green. Oh. Chris Green just got rocked. Oh. But a nice sharp knee to the face. Counter. Oh. Green. Not down and out just yet. Oh. Kick to the midsection. Look out. Blacksmith. You the stop. <laughs> got him. Oh, my God. He's got the horse stop. The no. horse stop. And now, oh, don't grandstanding and hot dogging oh. in the middle of the oh, ring. Instead of pinning God. his opponent, he does hook the leg. Greg, you gotta be one, kidding me. two, you gotta be three, me. the last blacksmith. Oh stomping God. the face of Chris Green. And he will oh. head into oh his match with God. Hito Gui. <laughs> as a man proven he can hang inside an OCW ring. What a match. What a... Chris Green. Oh my God! He's so green. Trying to jump blacksmith from behind, but the last blacksmith not, not having the, oh any of it. God, but he's not finished yet. He took Gui chasing him up the short ramp here. <laughs> These two got to be separated. Jason Sensation. We got more animal oh, house to come. Here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We are all surrounded by the animals, dude. Oh my God, they're still going, Jake Allen. We got, we need someone back there. We'll be back after this fracas concludes and goes back to safety. So stay tuned.